very excited because this is an investment uh, made in Kenya and uh, has the capacity to replace a lot of our imports of nearly uh, 30 uh, million tons of galvanized wire each year. I want to uh, therefore congratulate Blue Nile and the family of uh, Courtney Rao and all for the investment that has been made uh, here in Kenya. I'm also excited by the promise and the possibilities that out of this we have capacity to increase uh, forward linkages by supporting SMEs to set up small, you know, cottage uh, galvanized uh, uh, chain link manufacturing and, uh, uh, and, and production facilities or making barbed wire in the villages so I, we look forward to uh, launching this initiative and these linkages with SMEs as we go forward. This plant demonstrates the resilience of Kenyan business. It has been installed during COVID times or in the last uh, four months. Uh, mechanics and engineers who are expected to travel from outside the country did not come and, and Kenyan uh, workers in the factory have actually utilized technology, perhaps video calls, to install this plant, which is uh, an, an exciting thing. I think we want to celebrate uh, the resilience of uh, the Kenyan companies. So that resilience uh, of Kenyan business has been uh, is something that is welcome. Of course, we are aware there and we know that there are sectors like in hospitality and those who serve hospitality that have also been negatively affected. But by and large, where they were able to find a way, Kenyan businesses have responded uh, very well. And, I, and, 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 and our hope is uh, as, as we all continue to comply with the government protocols on keeping ourselves safe, you can comply and keep your business operating. But just make sure that you're compliant because if we are not compliant, then we're going to invite more severe restriction measures on ourselves which we don't require because we need to keep ourselves busy and to keep you know, and, 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 and creating jobs. We are employing all around 800 to 1000 employees in direct employment. We also em embarked on the project on the women empowerment by which we have earmarked around 50 chaining machines to give to different people throughout the country with the recommendation of the Minister of Industries and Entrepreneurship because it is very important that the young and women should be empowered to make it like a cottage industry so that everybody gets empowered and they can make their two ends meeting. As we have invested almost 1.9 billion shillings in the new venture GI wire and it is a first of its kind in Kenya and Eastern Central Africa for that matter. This also opens up with the support of industries and the protection they have given to us. It opens up to export our products now to Europe and Australia and also America. And steel has been included in Agowa. Because of that, Kenya now can capable of exporting GI wire to the American countries or Europe countries and Australia also. In fact, we are already getting some inquiries and only thing that we want to settle down first in our Kenya and we meet the Kenyan requirement first and then look for the export markets. We are already working together with all the industries, this one, this one being one of them, to, uh, to educate our youth, to train our youth on the skills that they require. Naturally, we've seen uh, of recent, we are partnering a lot with many industries, we are partnering with many organizations work in working together to make sure more services are done because we cannot handle it alone. Therefore, we go on partnering with as many as industries, as many as organizations that are coming up to improve Kembo.